Why hello there, audience. I'd like to introduce to you a Twitter account. It's at, you may ask, Flower Boy Carter. Now why do I bring this name up? It's time for me to introduce the topic of today's video. This is how I became DR Twit's favorite and fell from grace. Or, as I'd like to call it, hell. Flower Boy Carter, born September 19th, 2020, died January 7th, 2021. His last words, you as well. He was quite the funny fella. A home to tweets like, you attract what you fear. Ah, a grilling session about my nagging wife. Why can't a big woman with fat jugs do this to me? And my nipples right now, guys, I could cut a brick in half. It's so cold in here. D-J-F-S-H-G-A-F-D. They're like knives. Now you see, Flower Boy Carter, he... He was different than the rest, but how? He wasn't just funny, but he used his platform to spread a positive message. And he would do anything to see or hear that someone is smiling. And he did. He left a big positive impact on that community. Humongous. Like almost as big as like uh, 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 the, the, the sun or something. And he... He just wanted people to be happy. And how did he do it? Well, he cared about everyone. Which was different than all the rest. And you might be wondering, how did such a nice person, who really had such a positive impact on this community, and spread a lot of positivity to anyone, end up like this. Well, I'd like to present to you this. Yes, folks, you heard it correctly. The Flower Boy Timeline. Now, September 19th, 2020, I decided to join a Twit. It's basically a subside of Twitter that goes to a certain fandom. I was in the dang rampa at the time, so DR Twit was my best option. I had a friend introduce me to some of his friends, and they later became my mutuals. These mutuals helped me find more mutuals. Eventually, growth just kept on coming until about 250 followers. I wasn't gaining anymore, so what did I do? I said I would buy a maid costume at 450 followers. Mmm, yeah, now my best time. Uh, again, the growth came back after I said that. Around October 4th or 6th, I met someone, and we got together. Yeah, one thing led to another, and that ended. Completely fine with me. But I wouldn't let that stop me, and I continued to grow. Until I met someone else. They were just... amazing. They helped me and my account grow. Sadly, once more, things didn't work out. I kept on going and never gave up. When I say I got big, I meant it. At one time, I had 15 people crushing on me. Scary, scary times. I never want to go through it again. So, over time, I gained more X's along the way. Um, I guess you could call me Ramona Flowers, cause... <laughs> so, I'd like to skip to late December. People started turning against me and I had an idea why. So I had something in the works. I called it the Burger Project. Short, uh, short story short, there was this guy on DR Twit who was named Froggy Teru Teru. He was getting torn a new one. So they posted a picture of a pizza saying, anyways, I'm gonna finish my pizza. If you need anything, I won't respond in like seven minutes. And never came back. So I wanted to do that with a burger on January 5th, but the White House incident happened and I wanted to spread awareness. And I said, uh, I said I would do some very not nice things to the president at the time, being Trump, and apparently threatening the president as a felony and can get you suspended on Twitter. The morning of January 7th, the account was gone. Now I said Flower Boy Carter died on January 7th, but his name did live on for quite a while. On the 8th, they hit a man while he was down. I won't go into detail, so that's the story. 
but how did people feel? Um, so, uh, personally, I'd like to say Flower Boy Carter was an extension of me, but of course, I don't really know how to explain it because I was in that spot. So, I got some of my friends to explain it better. Um, here is the section of the video where I, um, force my friends into a voice chat and give them questions that they weren't prepared for. Get ready for... The Flower Boy Interview! Alright, Evan, I, I brought you here, um, for, for a couple questions. Um, it may be two or it may be three, alright? Hey. So, and I, and I want your genuine answer. So, I've gathered you here right, right now. Um, I have, uh -huh. I have two genuine questions for you. Um, so, so I've brought you, I've brought you in here to ask you two questions, two or more questions, maybe? Okay. Hello there, like Manny. Hello, I'm getting this out the way. I want to take a nap. All right, all right, all right. So, so, so I'll make it quick. Um, I've got two questions. Um, that that might span into three. Uh, it's somebody I barely talk to anymore. So, so, so basically, Flower Boy Carter was a person who you had trouble interacting with? Not just that, it was just, we didn't talk at all when you were big on Twitter. Mm hmm And... Flower Boy Carter to me? Mm hmm What was Flower Boy Carter to you? Uh, are you talking about, like, the, like, the, like, when your Twitter account actually began, or, like, the Flower Boy Carter era? The Flower Boy Carter era. Honestly, an annoying it's extension of my friend. Mm -hmm. I did not consider Flower Boy Carter itself my friend. I consider you my friend. But Flower Boy Carter is a, is the Twitter Twitterified persona of your past self that I did not like. Well, that mostly because it blew up my phone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just you, but the, like on Twitter, but like alive. It was just me on Twitter, but alive. I like no, but like a lot. Oh, okay. So like, like, I like knew you as Flower Boy for like a month, I think. Uh huh. No, maybe not even. Who was Flower Boy Carter to me? Yes, yes, sir. Hmm. At first, he was a nice person who cared about everybody. But as time went on, people start to realize that he may have. Been I don't think he's all of that. I still think he's the nice soul that's still within him. So, I asked who Flower Boy Carter was to you, not, not what happened. Oh, he's a good friend. He was a good friend? He was. Alright. He was. was. I watched from a distance and didn't interact. So not many strong feelings. Alright, so the way I'm gonna speak about this, I'm gonna speak about this, uh, I'm gonna speak about Flower Boy Carter as, not no longer as an extension of you, but as a separate being from you. Um, like you just did. Uh, his, his adventures or misadventures, whichever one works. Uh, I mean, there were good moments, but there were also uh, just mostly annoying to me. Because, again, notifications. Um. Wait, 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 wait. How do I, how do I word this? It's very strange because he was. I, I he was, he was a very strange being. Flowerway Carter, he was. Um. <laughs> he would dox himself. <laughs> he would. He would dox himself. He would dox himself. Um. Um. But like, man, he 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 was all right, I guess. Like nothing too bad actually about him. Like the again, the only thing that really annoys me is the notifications that I used to get from him. You know, you can the toilet. Um. Well, I mean, not just the toilet stuff. I mean, those are the ones I remember. But 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 like. 
How did you feel about me being on Twitter? And and how and how did you feel about seeing my interactions? I just thought you were on Twitter a lot. But that's all I did, really. So like I was I didn't have a problem with it. I just like wow, he's on, he's on Twitter a lot. They were sometimes weird. Like like he kept talking about pooping and I'm like, okay. Interactions are interactions, I guess. Anything else we weird out of the ordinary? Um, didn't he like? I think he came out as a polynumerous. I think polyamorous. Yeah, I I, I respect that. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I... I guess. Yeah, honestly. You think you two are different? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Do you think that I'm not Flower Boy Carter and Flower Boy Carter is its own thing? Personally, I think yes. Because you have changed from that era you had. Now, now audience, after that, those, those, those answers... What do you think happened to Flower Boy Carter? Well, let me tell you. Fame gets to people's heads like a baby gets to a ripened breast. Because they're hungry. Numbers eat people. Like, you know the joke 789? Yeah. Um, that's what happened to Flower Boy Carter. And... I will admit he wasn't in the right, but he also wasn't in the wrong either. Um, and <laughs> note to self, never get a platform ever again. I never did.